a natural disaster so destructive that it crossed three states in a single afternoon, claiming hundreds of lives and forever altering the landscape of the Midwest. It was March 18, 1925, a Wednesday, a day that began with the kind of stillness that only the heartland knows. The sunrise was cloaked in gray. Southeastern Missouri, Southern Illinois, and southwestern Indiana woke to a sky that looked undecided. Beneath it, the routine of American life unfolded. Fields were being readied for planting. Children walked dirt roads to one-room schoolhouses. Housewives opened windows to let the early spring air in. But high above that quiet morning, a volatile cocktail of atmospheric forces was assembling. Meteorologists today know that those in 1925 could not. A deep low pressure system was moving east across the plains, dragging a cold front behind it. At the same time, a warm, moist air mass had surged north from the Gulf of Mexico. In between, the jet stream curved sharply, acting as a conveyor belt of chaos. These ingredients, when mixed together, don't simply create weather, they create monsters. On this day, that monster took the form of a single, unstoppable tornado. Just after 1 p.m., the twister touched down in Reynolds County, Missouri. What began as a distant funnel soon ballooned into a churning black mass nearly a mile wide. Unlike ordinary tornadoes, which often snake, hop, or vanish after a few miles, this one planted itself into the earth like a blade and kept carving away. The tornado tore through small Missouri communities, Annapolis and Frona, leaving behind shredded trees, flattened barns, and the first of what would become a staggering death toll. The storm flung debris so violently that it impaled tree trunks and left entire homes from their foundations. As the tornado reached the Mississippi River, it showed no signs of slowing. With a fury that seemed sentient, it crossed into Illinois near Gorham, and the true horror began. Gorham, a small railroad town, was the first Illinois community to face the tornado's full wrath. 